Hey guys, welcome back. We have something for review. This is a Viking Factory Bamboo Stash Box. Uh, this comes with a grinder, uh, two containers for herb, uh, a tray, and a bunch of other features we'll have to take a quick look at. This is basically the box. It comes in, it's got some weight to it. Obviously it's 100% bamboo. It's kind of heavy. Made in China. This will run you about 75 bucks shipped. There are cheaper ones, but then they don't come with extra features like the containers and everything else. And this one also has a lock to keep the kids out of it. Uh, just give me a chance to get it out of the box. Yeah, I thought they were going to go crazy with the, uh, the the lettering and stuff, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm still going to sand it off anyway. Uh, I'd like to, I have, I am one, I'm a bit of an artist, so like this one I just finished. A couple of year, about a year ago, and it's got a nice skull in there for a handle. Uh, did all the painting all the way around the top. I enjoy stuff like this where I can decorate it. I'm going to actually put my logo that's on there on the back on the top in black, and then verithane it. So let's get this thing out of the box. I do like how they taper off the corners. That's kind of cool. Ow. I guess you would do that because these corners actually could get pretty sharp with bamboo. But this actually looks pretty good for the price. It's made really well. Look at the corners. It's really nice. Get some work went into it. Okay, how do we get this open? Okay. Wow. So you can put all your papers and stuff in there. I'm not too sure what that is, but it's magnetized. This is your tray. There's two different versions of this. You can get one where this is cut out here and you can actually slide the tray out. Um, some people like that. Uh, what else do we got in here? Um, that's the bottom of the tray. Separators. A couple of them actually. Make a chunk of foam, which you don't need. I'm guessing this would be our grinder. Doesn't look huge, but it's better than what I got. That's not bad. It's nice. I mean, I would... The quality of this grinder, just by looking at it, I would pay that much just for the grinder. So the rest is bonus. That's nice. Three stage. It's got their logo on it, or their name. Let's see if we can get it open. It's magnetized. It's nice and sharp. And deep. That's not bad at all. Basically like my old one, my old one's wood, but uh, it's nothing like this. Let's see if we can get the next layer open. Next layer has a screen. That's the bottom of it. And the very bottom comes with a little brush or a scraper for, you know, what it's for. I'm not going to mention it. So yeah, actually, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. I actually needed one of those, so I'm... I would have paid, well, maybe 40 bucks for this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's hope these aren't smashed. I always say that because I've already got delivered today. It was smashed, so it's one of those days. That's not bad. Got a half decent rubber seal on it. It's kind of weird that it has a hole in the rubber on both sides. Hmm. We'll see how good it seals. It's not bad. I'm guessing the other one is the same. Whoa. 
Nice. Nice thick glass, half decent quality for the price. And then I'm guessing these pieces here, you can see it's all slotted in there. You can just slide them in. Any way you want, actually. <clears throat> well, if we go like this, go like this. That one doesn't fit in there. Yeah, I'm learning as I go along. I don't know how those go in, but once I figure it out. <clears throat> so all around, it's not bad. Uh, a few different changes that I will make is I will likely drill a hole right here and make it wide enough where I can put an adapter in if I want to uh, put a tube in here to uh, make cigarettes. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. Nice and clean on the inside. No dings. Liking it. Uh, it does show you on their website how to how to set this. It's got a pin through it right now. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm, I'm not going to be in a hurry to um, lock it up. This isn't very deep, the logo. So you could physically sand the front and get rid of that if you wanted to. I'm not going to bother. Like I said, there'll be a logo on the top. And then I'm going to add a little skull over here to make it easier to open. But uh, once I'm done, it'll be totally custom. Totally liking it. I'm not too sure what this part here is for. I'll do some research on that. It's got some paper on it. Plastic. And then there's magnets inlaid in there. Looks pretty good in there. Cool. Well, there you go. It's just a quick overview and review of it. Uh, quality is half decent. Uh, there have been some complaints about the hinges. Uh, they don't look too flimsy. Um, if they, well, they okay, they do. <laughs> they are a little bit flimsy. This uh, piece here is supposed to guide it. Wow, I, think I can't see that lasting very long. Don't matter though, I have these in, in brass that are actually way better. Uh, I'll probably end up swapping them out. But, uh, you know, for 70 bucks, it's, it's pretty good. Nice little stash box. Later, guys.